What's up, everybody? This is Baka Bites. I am Frankfurter. That is Magically Average. And today, we're going to talk about those anime announcements that you and or I potentially have forgotten about. Uh, there, throughout the year, throughout the years, there are anime announcements that happen weekly, daily, monthly, whatever. Things that we're excited about and that we remember, and then things that we're like, oh, that's pretty neat, and then they just go to the back of our minds and we don't fucking remember them for the life of us. Mm -hmm. Until we look at a list. And so we're going to go through that list. We are on livechart.me. We are in the TBA section. Some may say the restricted section because God knows we're just going to get our hopes up here. We're going to get our hopes up. We're going to see some things that we're like, yeah, uh-huh, I want that tomorrow. And we're, it's going to be years off. Years off. So let's get those hopes up and just dream big, and then we'll just be denied later in life. But... Yeah. Good sir, you had us start with just <laughs> the dumbest show. Like, no, like always, we start near the bottom of the not, list. We're not starting at the very bottom, but we're starting at the first show that we actually like recognize the name of. Yeah, which you can just kick us off because what? Jesus Christ, there's nothing, why? There's nothing to say about it. I just you said I'm starting with the show that I recognize first, and my show was further down from yours, so we're starting at mine. Mine is Kami Arabi God App Season 2, which came out last season, and it was utter garbage. But I recognized Neither of us it. it. I recognized yeah, it, and I saw the first episode, it. and it was bad. But the other one I, I have seen is the Sorario Utility. I want to say it was on a like future season like anime list on Live Chart, and then it might have just got kicked off because it's just has no set release date. Uh, FYI, if you're trying to figure out where, where we're at for to be or yet to be announced or whatever, scroll as far as you can. Scroll until the end of time across all the different seasons. I think you got to go basically past summer 2025 to actually get to this screen on livechart.me. Or you but, could just hit the pancake button and just hit the TBD, TBA. Yeah, whatever. But, you know. It's fine. You, you can want do to the work, fun if way you want of to work scrolling for it. forward. If you want to work yeah. for it, yeah, you do it that way. But um, but yeah, um, Sorario Utility, I just looked it up. It was announced getting an anime uh, quite for, quite recently, February 8th of this year. So within okay. this month, that's, okay. it got announced. It might, I might have seen it on Anime News Network or somewhere on social media it being announced. Because the poster I recognize. But I also just want to point out that this is like the fifth fourth or fifth golf related either anime or manga that's been released in recent time because we have I can think of four total you got birdie yeah. wing you got this you got one other one that's up on the list that we'll talk about and then you have green green greens yep yeah which is the which manga. I've, I've really been enjoying reading yeah. green green greens that's it's been a fun one yeah it has like um people are gonna make fun of me for saying it but it has Hot a nerd it has like a blue lock esque feel to it and like how intense these like random moments get and ridiculousness of the, of the, like the, the way that they compete. I'll say, I don't know. Did you just explode a beverage everywhere? No, I, uh, I was moving something on my desk and I just fucking knocked over a bottle of Advil. <sighs> don't do drugs, kids. Um, no, like they're, there's one part in particular in Green Green Greens where they're having a competition at the driving range and like they're like, oh, this guy, he he's he's a good hitter. He can hit it like 310 yards on his drive. And he's just like super ultra mega blast <laughs> and just cranks one. And they're like, what in the fuck? And then the other guy's like, that was pretty good. I don't think I can beat it. And then just wallops it like a, a 330 yards or something. And everyone's like, <gasps> It's like that level of just like ridiculousness that you really like. That's why I like Blue Lock. So I'm like, yeah, it's ridiculous, but it's awesome. Moving on, because we got a lot of things to go through. We're so not going through we, uh, all of them. We're definitely not talking about darkness heels. Yeah, I understand. But at least we could be it's like, the hey, these, this healings. is something I have. Like, we are, if we skip something, it is because we have never heard of it. But we may like look at something if like the poster looks pretty um, interesting. Because within the next row, um, above Darkness Heals Promise Wizard, which she pre-cure in A5, there's Untitled Anime by TBD. There's, I'm not even trying to pronounce that, Plus Size, Misadventures, and Love. And then one that does kind of look interesting, I just like the artwork, uh, Ubelblot, 
which I'm not sure exactly what it's all about, but it's got the action, adventure, etchy, fantasy, and suspense tags, which you, is a lot. But you what? can't you you can't just gloss what? over plus sized misadventures <laughs> in love with the very first sentence being this is the punishment for a fat ugly girl like me falling in love with someone as beautiful as you <laughs> yumiko what? had a mountain of no, complexes no, about herself too, then too, a terrible long, accident befalls her so somehow saved from the brink of death yumiko wakes up a completely different person anyways um i mean yeah if it's a if it's a it's a comedy romance it might be fun for whenever I, the heck it comes out when did just, this get announced? It's just the plus size misadventure. There's another plus size series, which is plus size plus sized elf, which you're, if you're familiar with, it very is different, very different, very horny, very uh, different. This one looks but, like I'm I'm hopeful, fingers crossed, um, that it is a bo- body positivity esque anime, uh, because I don't know if you uh, have ever seen what some of the stores are called in some asian countries they're not flattering to to many women that are are of a plus size range just look if you want to if you want to fact check me people listening and watching just look up like asian store names for plus sized women you will see and i'm not joking fatty fatty fat fat like that i believe that is in store name like little piggy, like it's really bad things. So I'm just, I'm like, fingers crossed. This is a body positivity style one, but yeah, Ubelblot looks. Uh, I mean, just from the poster alone, I haven't read anything about it, but the poster alone looks pretty uh, interesting. So something to keep an eye on. Yeah, it it looks like um, it kind of looks like Black Clover esque, like stylistically. Maybe so, but I don't think yeah. it will be for the fact that it has the etchy tag. So. Well, Probably know. not, but Black I may look into Ubelblot, but might be something good coming there. Um, but yeah, the next row, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. I know the last... Well, we're not going through each individual one. Yeah. Let's just point out the, the next row, one. though, we do know uh, Beat in Motion. I don't know if you've been reading Beat in Motion. No. Um, I have. And, and it was one of those things that there wasn't a lot coming out on Thursdays, so I was just like, sure, I'll read it. And I just kept reading it, and it wasn't something that really stood out, and then by the time I got to like chapter 15, I was like, you know what? This is good. I'm enjoying it. I'll just keep, I'll just go along with this. And it's, it's been a fun little story. Nothing like too serious. I feel like the one downfall for this show or series for me right now is that nothing ever feels resolved with whatever the characters are doing. Mm. In my opinion, like they're working on a music video. The music video gets canned for a little bit, but then he's going to do another video for art school but he doesn't do it because he's got a little bit of writer's block or he needs help and he just hasn't done it. And then she's like, and then the girl's like, hey, I'm going to become an artist. And then her career gets put on hold because the record company she's about to sign with is like, we're going to stop doing all new, like, uh, idol or not idols, but like musicians. We're, we're not doing any more new people yet. Music's dead. Yeah. So it's just like one of those things that just like, they start something and then they just end it before they can like give it a, a really good resolution. So, hmm. but it, other than that, I've really enjoyed the series. Um, but yeah, I don't recognize anything else on this list for now. The next row up, Beast Haunting. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know any of these yourself. Do you? No, or are we just gonna was, keep scrolling? I, I was reading Peleliu Garnikia of Paradise, and uh, it, this one seems like it's gonna be sad. Drama it's World War II. Mode. It's World War II oh. based. So yeah, yeah that's just, not gonna uh, be great. Yeah, it's good. To... Hey, Turkey. What is this about the country Turkey? Turkey, no my homeland. My... Your homeland, it the is. motherland. It is. Yeah, that's where my mom's. That's where my mom's. This from. was announced in December of 2022. I. This looks so. I don't know. I don't know what the focus is. It, it's. I don't like, know, it's but literally I literally impossible clicked on the... to figure it out. It just I says, clicked it on the link. Sports. Oh, is it bowling? Click- is it bowling? Because you get it. Isn't a turkey in bowling? Like you get three strikes in a row as a turkey. I'm looking at. Oh my god! If it's a the, bowling anime, I'll watch the shit out of that. It might be like I clicked into the the tweet, the, like that was the announcement, yeah, and it yeah, yeah. shows like their bags, like they're like little squares. Oh my so god! It might be. Yes, it's a bowling but it anime. 
It Which, might be, whoa. but also on the other hand, I clicked into the tweet and looked at the replies, and it's just like the most ridiculous thing of like the Turkish flag that yeah, you can ever imagine. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just it's ridiculous. But um, yeah, um, that might be bullying. Technically, last year, uh, Turkey changed the spelling of its name to the phonetically correct spelling in the Turkish language, so it's not actually spelled like Turkey like that anymore. Whoop you <laughs> freaking do, Basil. I did the... <laughs> it was, no, just side story. My family was, like, questioning me on, on my dad's side, like, what's going on with Turkey? What are they doing? They're doing weird stuff. And I'm like, all they did was change the spelling. It's still pronounced the same, you dummies. They're like, oh... It's like, yeah, Whoa. so morons like you don't make fun of it, make the old turkey joke anymore. Oh, turkey, they must like Thanksgiving. Hee hee hee. Ho ho ho. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha. All right. Uh, um, moving on. I don't know anything for the next couple rows. However, the row above turkey, there's uh, there's an original mecha coming out called Miru. Yeah, that uh, looks so... interesting. Female, p- female lead again for another yeah. mecha series, which will be cool. So that might be that might be something to to keep an eye on. I know as soon as we get further up in the Ooh. list, we'll have stuff to talk about. But yeah, there's a series um, I I recognize. Dungeon people. Yes, I recognize yeah. it. I have not Go read it, it though. I have rec- I recognize it though. I this was like a manga series that had popped up. I think when I was doing one of my quarterly scroll through, either you know, R.I.P. our old uh, site, but no, the now new Crunchyroll site. Um, for manga and then Barnes and Noble for stuff and Dungeon People came up and I was like, I like the the art, I like the the style. It looks super simplistic, but it's very flattering to the eye. And I was like, yeah. oh, cool. And then it's Dungeon Crawl, which I I mean, I've been really enjoying all the dungeon related stuff because we've had Don Machi a couple seasons back. We've got Del- Delicious in Dungeon. Um, I feel like I'm th- forgetting another dungeon based one. That was recent. Um, I mean, free run right now. They're in a dungeon. Yeah, but I mean, not. Yeah, fair enough. But like, I, I, just, I like, I like the, I like dungeon crawl stuff. I also, I've been playing a bunch of dungeon crawl games too. That might be it. I've been playing like that backpack, be been playing backpack hero and darkest dungeon and stuff like that. I just, I like that. I like those types of games. I like, I really, I've been liking the anime too that are like dungeon based. So this one just looks super cute. Yeah, no, I've seen the books on shelves at like Barnes and Noble and everything. I just haven't bought it and given it a shot, but no, it might, is something that I've seen why. as well. Yeah. No, it'll there'll be a time where I get to it. I just have a, a backlog of books to get through and also a backlog of video games I'm trying to get through, so it's going to stay in the backlog. Um, but moving on, I don't recognize anything in the next row. Wait, hang on, time out. I do want to just Megazone 23 Sin. This is an, <laughs> brace yourself, folks. This is an action, mecha, music, romance, sci-fi. Nice. I, I don't think it's going to be any of those. <laughs> well, it's apparently a new project in the Megazone 23 franchise. So it's all a Megazone 23 remake, a pretty Sammy sequel, and others. I don't know. I'm not familiar with Megazone 23. Not a freaking clue. It, but it, the way that it's named and everything, it seems it it kind of has this. My first thought was, is it like the Devil Man series where there's like the different Devil Man mm. anime? Because there's the it says Megazone twenty three pretty Sammy sequel. This one's called Megazone Megazone twenty three Sin. So maybe it's something like that. I don't know. I've never heard of it, but I just like the fact that it's it's got five tags, all of which are grossly different from one another. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I don't know anything in the next row. However, I'm very intrigued as to what the fuck pu- Puppet Quartet is. Hell yeah. Puppet Quartet, it's a bunch of girls that just freaking Have love puppets. puppets. That might be we're it. Not, there, there's also, a niche for everything. We, we're not talking like the ones... Like that you have like on the sticks or anything. We're not talking to Jim Hansen like Kermit the like. We're talking like hand puppets. Like you stick your hand in and like you. Yeah. Oh boy. Um. Uh-oh. But yeah. Uh. Moving on to the next row. I don't Ooh. know anything. However, there's two I want to discuss real quick. I wonder if it's Acro Trip. Oh, this looks nope. like this looks like gushing over magical girls, but not the horny type. Yeah. I mean, it looks. Well, no. Reading is, the description, it is, it is very, it is very similar. Yeah. 
So it might be the non the non horny type of uh, gushing over magical girl. So that might be something to to look out for. Maybe, hopefully. But All right, what's the, the next one? one? The next one is Special Kid Factory. It's an original show. And it's a detective sci-fi. So like y- you got like I love a good mystery series like a detective series. So like you got me there. But throwing sci-fi, hell yeah, you I'm... got you got me going now. So. Special Kid Factory was the one I was going to mention. The other one, I'm surprised you didn't mes- mention this. Astro Boy, it's going to be a new series. Oh, I Basically missed that because be it has new... no poster. I know, <laughs> or, or synopsis. But yeah, there's going to be yeah. apparently a new Astro Boy series, which the, yeah. that's going to be super sweet. Astro Because Astro Boy was like well before our time. So I never, oh, really yeah. got, never really got into Astro Boy to begin with, but um, always been interested but in it, at least. I would like say that piece. this... I would err, err, err on the side of this is not happening for the fact that if you click into it, there's no announcement for this. There's no visual, no yeah. videos, no stream, no schedule. There's no info whatsoever except for uh, the studio, which is Tezuka Productions. Yeah. This might have been something that they had just mentioned a while back and is just a far off distant project. But yeah, we also should mention, too, because I, I, I just recently noticed this, that some of the posters do have episode one TV Japan 2024. So they are scheduled for 2024. Some of them are at least just yeah. not clear when we'll say. Fair enough. Yeah, I didn't notice that until now. So thanks for the heads up. I actually know two um, from this next list. I don't know anything. So by all means, a teacher. A Terrified Teacher at Ghoul School. This is one that I almost started reading on Manga Dex. Um, I think I have it saved for like a to read. Basically, just like a, a human teacher ends up teaching at a monster school and is just constantly being pranked by the monsters and is just terrified to no end. It's it's huh. supposed to be really funny. It kind of gives me like if um, Irumakun goes to Dima's school, if instead... Irumakun was a like a teacher, you know? So similar yeah. type of like fantasy, like fantasy comedy gag stuff, um, workplace or school, stuff like that. Like it seems it seemed funny enough. I do think I've read like one chapter of it, but yeah, I think I I have only been able to find it on manga decks. And then the other one is uh I don't know how to pronounce the full name, but it's the neat Koinoichi to Nazaki Dosai Hajimemashite which is hello or nice to meet you. I oh god. I think it's their name. I don't know, but the, and then the, this I, is going to be all ba- basically. This seems like it might be a horny series even though it doesn't have the I, etchy thing because look at those grippers. Look at those fucking grippers right in the poster. Those fucking yeah. grippers in the stockings. Yeah. Um I again, this was one that I think I've seen on social media going around when it finally got announced and it just looked really funny. You don't hmm. get a lot of like the neat style anime it especially was like announced female. it was announced this month so yeah. it's okay. been relatively recently yep that's that would explain it um but we've been getting a lot of uh female led anime that are centered around being like an otaku or like the the further evolution which would be like a neat obviously yeah um this one just seemed I don't know. It seemed funny based on like the synopsis I had seen on on line when it was announced, but we'll see. I don't think there's anything beyond just the announcement. I don't think there's any like trailer. Oh no, there's so. a, there's a teaser trailer. I've oh, been there? watching it for the past like 20 seconds and um she's a ninja? Oh, we, okay. I knew she's a some... ninja that like took down a beast, but her ninja outfits are just very skin tight. Perfect. Well, look at those grippers. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. um oh. yeah, I haven't watched much else other than she just defeated somebody. There's more ninja girls in Yes. Okay, I saw so clothing. I did and... watch that trailer. I did. It made me laugh just from the standpoint of like she's super powerful. It also reminded me of a character in an anime that's going on right now from Mr. Villain's Day Off, and I'm not going to spoil it cuz I think I hope she gets like her own like I hope she gets another full episode dedicated to her because she seems like a wonderful character. But very much in the same vein of like total badass, like awesome, but just on the inside is like, I just want to lock myself in my room, be surrounded by snacks and play games. 
Fair enough. Yeah, this show just looks like it's a bunch of ninja girls going around killing things, and this girl in, with the pink hair saves a guy and just decides, I'm going to be a neat in your apartment. Yep. That's what <laughs> it looks like. Perfect. So yeah, that might be funny. But um, after that, I know of Blue Orchestra, never yeah. watched season one, yep. but Medalist is something that stands out. I know that this one... This one, like, best new manga or best manga of some sort, one of the year yeah, recently. it's the, the figure skating one, right? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'll look into it, but I know that it's won some sort of awards. People are like, people are like, oh, figure skating and it's not gay? No! <laughs> Give us I mean, your on ice, damn it! <laughs> there's another uh, figure skating yeah. uh, manga going on on yeah, Shonen Dogs Jump. <laughs> what? No, <laughs> I think it's the uh, two on ice or something like that. Yeah, uh, yeah, there is another one on right now. Okay, I've been reading. It. It's okay. Yeah, um, I, think, uh, I mean, it looks simplistic on on its face, so maybe it's it's good. Who knows? Yeah. So the series won the sixty eighth uh, Shogu uh, Shoga Kukan Shogu Kukan. Sorry, manga award in the general category in twenty twenty three. Nice. So it's 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 Ooh, speaking theoretically that, it's a very good series. So I think one of my f- favorites from last year or two years ago when it started out that that won an award recently as well is on might be on this list because I I think they got an anime announcement verified this year. So not to come out uh-huh. this year, but verified in this year. So right, all right, moving along. Um, next set of four. <laughs> uh, the only thing, yeah, a motherfucking ghost. Uh, second season is the only thing that stands out. Didn't watch season one. Don't know anything about Delico's nursery, but uh, there's a vampire and vampire children looking nursery there's show Oka- for you. There's a show there... that's like based in Okinawa, which uh, yeah, you know how much I love Aquatope on White Sand, which is based in Okinawa. So, um, reading, the, I read the description a little bit. It looks like it's going to be uh, a girls' love type. Uh, series. Yeah, just so. girl. Yeah, girls. Like, I uh, like the, the whole... says, transfer to a school, uh, Okinawa, and developed a crush, crush on a girl. Yeah, yeah. So it's helping her with her dialect. That's cute. Yeah, yeah, but baby. Looking at the next uh, row, we got plus sized elf. Yeah, baby. Take it away. Give it to us. I okay. This is one that actually my wife and I both really like. It's just funny because it the concept of it is that there are effectively beings from other realms can travel through portals to earth and they can like inhabit earth and live there. And then, you know, they can go back and forth between their portals. However, there's a condition you, (laughs) who knows why they made it this condition, but you have to be the same weight as you were when you came through the portal. If you want to go back through the portal. And so this elf comes through at one point in her life and, uh, is a total badass, like comes from like a really like intense elf ranger family of some kind right. and uh, enters Earth, but slowly finds out about the wonderful wor- world of fast food, specifically French fries. And uh, yeah, gains gains a wee bit of weight. And so it follows our uh, main character, Nao Kun, who is a massage therapist and it funny enough, it has like a similar type of vibe to um uh oh god, what's the girl working out one? Shoot, what is it called? How how heavy are the dumbbells you like? Yes, it very much so because like I in the manga, like the manga's horny as shit. I don't know if you've like read through it. My wife said like like the show is horny, the manga's hornier. Uh, yeah, but they, I have I've I've watched the show. The show is horny. My buddy's read like the first volume or two, and he's like, "This is fucking. fucking <laughs> this is so much more than the anime it was." What the yeah. fuck? I feel like that's gonna be the same with plus size too, because like in plus size, it is very horny. Uh, not on like a sexual level. It's just like there's a lot of nudity and stuff. Um, mm. but what the 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 one cool aspect about it is that they do teach you a lot of like health related stuff both in like massaging and like doing yoga and doing a lot of like meditation and things to just healthy eating habits too. like whole guides, like throughout the, like at the end of the chapter, it's just, it's it's a really weird thing from going to like super horny, like etchy seeds to just being like, here's some balanced meals that you should try. And I'm like, all right, I guess I'll go cook. (laughs) (laughs) 
Um, but no, it's gonna be. Yeah. I think it's gonna be really, really fun. People should look out for this one. If like if if you can, I don't know. It's gonna it's gonna be etchy. I don't. There's no real like no way around it. Really, it's like, already got it's, the tag. So yeah, it's gonna be etchy, um, but it's gonna be fun. Next row, I don't recognize any of them, but I did was just like kind of glancing at them at a little bit, and I don't know. Even after reading the description for Nanere Hananere, um. I don't know what the fuck it's about, but there's a girl in a wheelchair, and that's oh, pretty dope. This one's been getting, this one's been actually been getting a lot of uh, it just traction. Seems like six, yeah, it just seems like six high school girls that really support each other, and they're very different. Yeah, this one's actually been getting oh. traction online. I've I've seen the poster for it, and there's I think there's actually a trailer out too. Um, yeah, that'll be that'll be coming out sometime this year, according to the poster. It's got episode one in 2024. Two other ones in here, one of which is more just the title, but too many losing heroines seems interesting. I, I, I I'm wondering what this is. Popular girl is friend zoned by her childhood friend and crush. Oh, in fact, all popular girls around him are getting rejected by boys they like. <laughs> all right, I like that. It's going to be oh, just boy. girls trying to pick each other up after getting denied left and right. The other one is more just the title because I don't know what the word is. It's called Watari Kun's Bleeped Out is About to Collapse. And I, I'm i very afraid to know what that is. I don't know. I read the description. It doesn't It doesn't give you really much of anything. It just kind of is just like, here's a character description. Oh, God. He's got a sister complex. Oh, no. Yeah. Like it just what doesn't. The, what is the word? <laughs> and I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, but moving on. Um, I don't recognize anything. Um, on the next row, minute. however, what? Um, maybe I'm just seeing things. Mecha Ude mechanical arms. Is this not just black haired Midoriya and and weird front spike Bakugo on the cover? No, the Shh, black-haired Midoriya, I would say, look no. more like... Uh, no, 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 he looks more like black-haired uh, Aramakun or whatever it, from... Uh, uh, Demon School? Demon School, yeah. Man, there's, like, there's whatever four eyes in the background. This is just my hero, but now it's a mech. What is going on? I don't know, dude. Also, but from the name of it, it makes me feel like this is an anime about the video game Arms. <gasps> oh my god, it is! It's an original, so no, it is. Oh is wait, really? Oh, do you god. know the game Arms? Yes, I know the game Arms. Arms, for the an organization but... working to save and free the Mecha Udes, is also searches. Uh, oh no, is that what this is? There's a big mechanical fist. I don't think this has fist. anything to do with. I don't think this has fist punching. Anything to do There's with a big the, mechanical the fist video punching. game Arms? I don't know. <laughs> I don't I think don't this has anything to do with Nintendo's arms. I don't know. It's an yeah, original. I, mm, it's an original. No, they would put it. They would put it under other. A large other corporation that plans to enslave the Mecha Ude and turn them into weapons is in pursuit of Alma arms. They would put Aww. it as other because uh, Delico's Nursery has an other tag for like what <sighs> what it's based off of. Don't let just don't let me have fun. It's fine. Exactly. Don't let me have dreams. No fun for you. Whatever. But no, I was on. gonna say Gosu is the one that I wanted to like pick out and just be like this from the poster it looks pretty interesting. It's also a manhwa rather than a manga, so the might art, be interesting. Yeah, the art style looks uh well studio huh, studio TBA. Um yeah. which could be explained it, but um it I don't know on its face. I, maybe. Fucking, I hate it. I hate it so much. Contagious. The last, the last fucking series on this row. There's a reason that we yawn, and I fucking read it and then <laughs> yawn. I, f- I fucking hate it. Okay, moving on. Um, <laughs> none of these, other than Card Captor Sakura, uh, yeah, which is a, a sequel, sequel. None of these I know anything about. Although I feel like I've heard of uh, oh, pot, pot labor, pot labor, pot yeah, pot labor, pat labor, easy why. Not yeah, a mecca. A lot of meccas. Okay, a lot of meccas coming out for you people. Um, I know yeah, one none... from this list. I think. Then go for it. I think it's the Yakuza fiance. Oh, you're talking about the the one above it. Sorry, yeah, no, above I... it, the one above it. Yakuza yeah. fiance. That one does ring a bell, but also I know I... two yeah. others. On this. I think basically this dude fucking slaughters a bunch. Like I, I want to say I saw a clip. And this dude just slaughters a bunch of people. And then it's just like, 
uh, like the only way you just save me from killing you is to marry me. <laughs> they they get married, and I'm like, wow, okay. But then it turns out he's gonna be really nice and charming and stuff. I don't know. It it. Um, I think that's the one. I might be thinking of a different one. There's been a lot of yakuza related I think stuff. You're thinking right of a different one because reading this, it sounds like she's got RBF um, and no man. Like, and she's like a yakuza like daughter. Oh, she's like a yakuza. Oh, she's a yakuza princess, but like nice nobody will approach her because of it. So another yakuza like. Never mind. Member. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know of Magical Girl Rising. I mean, that's just Madoka Magica, but it's just a, that's a spinoff, I believe. So that'll be yeah. interesting. And then the Monogatari series is just... Continuance. It's yeah. continuing. So, yeah. um, moving on from up there. If Macross... That would be an interesting remake. If Macross is getting a new, like, remake, that would be pretty darn cool because... Is that Monocross? Nothing... No. I don't believe so. I don't I remember what no the process is about. I just know that it's an older. I know it's an older series, and I have not watched it. Okay. Unfortunately. Also, for some stupid reason, my computer decided to say, "Hey, you got no internet, but you're still connected to Discord for some fucking reason." Cool. Uh, the only other one that looks interesting from here would be Time Machine, which is a horror one. Looks like a horror folk tale. Kind of, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Seems interesting enough. But... Dunwich, Massachusetts? What the fuck? Hmm? Uh, takes place in America. <laughs> Where the fuck are you? I'm on Time Machine. Ty Time Machine. Oh, 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 oh. It says, having found its way to Dunwich, Massachusetts, <laughs> Dr. Tyma and his lovely assistant make their way to America to combat this repuls repulsive plague. The repulsive plague is the American people. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> um, moving on from there, the next row, the only one I recognize is Natsume's Book of Friends. I've watched the first season of this actually pretty recently. It's yeah, it's good. It's just continuing. It's the seventh season. So, yeah. 100 yin, yin and yang demon stories. It just looks like uh, Mau Mau from Apothecary Diaries on the front. No, a little bit, yeah. All right, moving on. I don't recognize any of the next rows. So I'm more just interested in this one called "If my If my wife becomes an elementary school student." Period. Jesus. With a period. <laughs> if my wife, a father and daughter, are miraculously reunited with their deceased loved one in an unexpected way, that would be wild. A father um, and uh, mm, if wait a father oh reunited with their father. mom. Okay. Why does the daughter look so okay? Uh, we're gonna see. Love I don't know. Too much. Too Moving much. Moving on. Um, the next row. I'm looking <laughs> forward to Ron Kamenohashi's Forbidden Deduction season two. Yeah, I feel like liked... this one really went under the radar for season one. Yeah, you like this one. Uh, yeah, so I I will definitely be watching season two. Um, Bye Bye Earth looks a little interesting. <laughs> I, I don't know like what the title. Hell it's about. I just like their uh, yeah no just it if says, a meteor hit tomorrow it'd be it'd be okay. It says episode one subtitled. I assume Crunchyroll. In Crunchyroll, yeah. Yeah, interesting. So yeah, uh, not sure when that's coming. Um, but the elusive samurai that is also another yeah. shonen jump property that I've yet to even touch. But it's being done by Cloverworks, so it's probably going to be pretty uh, look pretty nice. good. It'll, it'll look nice. It'll look nice. So, but I've I've heard good things about the series. I just haven't watched it or anything. Or Reddit, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. But as for the Bye Bye Earth, it was announced in 2022, uh, back in November of 2022. So it's been just a, like just over a year, year and four months. Um, but it, yeah, no, nothing, nothing really to report there. Um, next row. Lazarus, that's the MAPA show that's uh, that they're working on for Toonami, I believe, uh, if okay. I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, That'll be a good one. I'm looking forward to that. I forgot that that was in the works. All right. If I read you the title, The Ideal Sponger Life, what's the first, wor first word that comes to mind to you? I mean, SpongeBob SquarePants, but the ideal Sponger life? I'm assuming Sponger, that's how it's pronounced S P O N G E R. It's not Sponger. I don't know what a Sponger is. 
Or are you? How I'm far in the up? St. Lazarus. Oh. It's in the same row. The ideal Lazarus? Spunger life. Sponger life. Oh. Sponger. What's the first word? It. Just first word. First word that comes to mind. SpongeBob. All right. What if I told you dinosaurs? <laughs> Fuck. What? <laughs> <laughs> The second sentence says, one morning he suddenly finds himself summoned to a tropical world where dinosaurs roam the land. <laughs> wow. Uh, all right. Cool. No. One episode try. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. Uh, next row, the only one that I really know of is the Disney Twisted Wonderland. This was supposed to come out years ago. This was supposed to come out the At same point, season yeah. as uh, fuck, uh, Summertime Rendering. This is yep. this has been delayed out the wazoo. I, so I feel like God knows when it'll actually. I feel happen. like Twisted Wonderland was actually announced, like for release on Disney Plus, well before Summertime Rendering even. I'm pretty sure it was at the same time, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, I don't know. I I thought they had released it well in it. Like they had announced it pretty far ahead of Summertime rend- Rendering, but I could be wrong. Regardless, it's been d- delayed out the wazoo. So. God knows if it'll actually be any good, but it's also based on a game. And I watched the first episode of, um, oh, there was another game that came out like as a anime and I watched it. it Oh, Ark Knights. I watched episode one. It was so self-inserting and just, it was so dumb. It was so bad. It's like, just play the game instead. It's more fulfilling that way. Um, but yeah, I don't know the other three on this, so I'm just going to move on unless you want to talk about any of them. No, the senpai isn't, Otokonoko, I think I also saw a trailer for. It was a recent release. Cross-dressing uh, romance and school, but done yeah. by Project Nine. Yeah, seems hmm. seems interesting. Just as a uh, as like a slice of life, I guess style one, but nothing more than that. Yep. Next row, Toilet Bound Hanako season two. That is going to be a ton of fun. Youth. I'm looking forward to uh, same that. Same with this. I'm been, I'm reading this Mobius Dust one. It's a strategy game, which uh, we know how we feel about those. Uh, however, it does say it was the winner of the kid slash game category for Project Anima competition. Hmm. Okay. Or anima, whatever they want to, how they want to pronounce it. Anima. So Anima. So it seems. Uh, I don't know. There's not much to it. Just apparently meteors fell, created these matter known as mobius dust and uh there was a war you want to know when this got announced oh probably a while ago nearly five years ago five oh, years ago oh. Next oh and still no March 6, potential 2019 date. still no potential date yeah um but another fate series is coming so good for you fate fans um Have fun. yeah Mo- moving on uh I don't know any of these. So the one on Although, the far the the Gintama parody spinoff. Yep. That's about yeah, it. I was gonna say there's a Gintama parody spinoff where Gintoki Sakata is a high school teacher named Ginpachi. <laughs> also, holy fucking title! The we're not on the very far right one. It's all it's all in Romanji. We're not reading that. That is yeah. gonna be a mouthful. It looks like it looks like if I had to guess. All right, here's my guess for it. Right. I used to be a commoner in a village and then upon <laughs> dying got reincarnated in a village as a noble's uh, butler who turns out to be the strongest warrior of the land. Kind of not really. Uh, so uh, I, I, went okay. to, I went to the Twitter announcement and I translated the tweet. Pretty close, though. Give me credit. That was a pretty <laughs> good title. Village A, who was not rewarded, was picked up by a noble and loved by him, and the legendary god skill he had was also awakened. Okay, okay, fairly close. Followed fairly the, close. Followed the isekai you did type. a good job. <laughs> you did a thank you. round I, of applause I, for you, Thank you, you thank you. That's all, that's all I want. I just want to be <laughs> noticed and appreciated. All right. Okay, senpai, Moving notice on. me. Dude, there's so um, many long titles. What is going on? I know. On? Rebuild, although on the same thing, Rebuild yeah. World looks pretty interesting from the, the cover alone, so might look yeah. into that one a little bit more. It's a light novel, too. Yes. Also, good on Golden Kamui for finally fucking ending. Golden Kamui, the final chapter. Hooray. Good on you for finally ending. He's but... focusing on the new series Dog's Red or whatever. Dog Shred. 
Mm, that's right. The hockey one. I like that one. It's it's really good. Um, V2 the legend, know. how I went viral for getting to turn off my stream. Uh-oh. Oh, Oopsie. Oh, no. <laughs> Oopsies. Oopsies. Um, I can't yeah. get in the bathroom. Oh, uh, God, no. Okay, Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> oh, God, did that happen? We're gonna, no, we're not going to talk about it. Move on. Never Move mind. On. Move on. Da, 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 da. <laughs> um, I don't know anything on the next row. They're just fucking those long ass titles. We're going to skip. Oh, God. They're just, just keep it. I'm sure there's something good in there, but uh, nope. Yeah. Uh, skate to the inf- or skate the infinity season two. Yay. Yeah, baby. Uh, if you have not seen season one, phenomenal. Yeah. And then really uh, new new panty and stocking, which is the next show by Trigger, which will be awesome. I haven't watched the original, but yeah, no, it's, it'll be a fun show. That's a, that's a horny etchy show too. Did not know that. Good to know. Mm-hmm. But this next one, I'm very excited about. I read volume. one just ordered volume two but 365 days to the wedding this is a, a series that i told you that you should read yes um basically two really shy and introverted uh office workers they decide that they're going to have a fake marriage or fake uh engagement because the job that they work for is a travel agency and they're basically opening up a new office in but fuck nowhere russia and they're like, hey, we need somebody to go man the office manager of this new office. We're going to send somebody who is single. We're prioritizing the single people to be the oh, person the that's managing. And oh, they'll the be out ladies. there for at least five years or something like that. Or sorry, it's Siberia. I don't know if Siberia's in Russia. My geography is uh, it's in awful. the It's in the Baltic region. Vicinity. But yeah, so basically well, no, they decided... Siberia is, is the worst part of Russia. Siberia is like the... The super cold. The cold. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow, so basically, that is a they horrible decide, office. Yeah. So they decide that they're gonna fake an engagement so they don't get shipped out because she loves maps and she loves reading maps and looking at maps, etc. And then he has a cat that he absolutely loves and does not want to relocate. So God, those sound like the most infuriating two people. It's fantastic. They're they put themselves in stupid situations and I'm really enjoying it. But my, my bro looks like uh, the main character from. Uh, don't toy with me, it's Nagatoro. A <laughs> little bit, yeah, just a little grown up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like it. I, um, that one does seem interesting. I'll probably uh, there's okay. I, it's, there's sorry, a lot. I, sc- I scrolled up to the next one. There's like so many ones I want to talk yeah, about. Yeah, next row, um, Blue Box. I've not read it, but I know it's popular. I know a lot of people love it, so that'll be yeah, one to watch. Sports one. Um, but the biggest one for us, and I think this is probably the biggest one for me, uh, personally, yeah, is not which for me. Has- not for me. It's huge. It's huge for me. Don't 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 get me wrong. Uh, not for me though. This this for me is the biggest one. Witch Hat Atelier. I it. Whew, I can make a whole video. I can just take a whole fucking episode yeah. just talking about this we, sh- this series. We talked about this one a long time ago because our other member element mentioned it. Like it actually suggested that we both read it because he was like, "Oh, this one's winning awards. This one's like." just the next big thing for manga yeah. series. Um, and we both started reading it and like just immediately fell in love. It is. And the, the awards that it won was the, I think an Eisner award, which is yeah, basically it's, just purely for art. Yeah. No, and, I, and it is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It, but the story, the story alone, it kind of gave me like the same fantastical vibes of like, I want to live in this world. Like I wanted to live in Harry Potter. Like there is, yeah. this is just a magical world. Um, I won't give away the spoilers about the, like how the magic works in this world, but it is such a fantastic story. There's ten volumes out? Question mark. As I think I turn eleven around. now. Yes, there are eleven volumes out. Yeah. Um, it's fantastic. I cannot wait for this. I just hope it gets its justice done because the art style is so detailed and unique that it's. I feel like it's going to be a little difficult to animate. Yeah, I it's it is one where I hope they spend the appropriate amount of time to animate it. Like I'm I'm expecting it to be on the level, if not better than Furin in terms of animation quality, which Furin has I, some of the best I've seen in a while. Yeah, I I hope so too because Furin is fantastic with its animation. Yep. Now so. next is where we get into my 
most anticipated series yeah. that will never ever 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 get a freaking anime because they announced it like three years ago and still nothing's happened it's young ladies don't play fighting games this this manga series is so it doesn't deserve to be this funny it really doesn't it is it's i compare it to like um dogs red and i assume similar to like golden kamui i've seen clips of golden kamui too but it's the comedy is all based on the delivery of of the jokes and just how it like the impact it leaves it's not hmm. like it, it's not just like blatantly funny you know what i mean it, it does it's not meant to be like a strict like a comedy on its face it's just how everything is portrayed and delivered makes it funny and i love it for that like it's not forced in any way it's so good not to mention that you get like these really intense scenes where like these girls are trying to sneak in video games to their all girls school where it's not allowed and they're like training to like eventually play in like a video game tournament and they're just they're like they're they're saying the stuff that you would probably say back in the day in like an Xbox Live party like it is <laughs> it's so good it's so funny i absolutely love it 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 also has, an, like, this is full credit. I am not discrediting the creator and, and the artist by any means, any stretch of the words. This is all love and admiration for this. But this manga also doesn't deserve to be as beautiful as it is. Like, it is downright gorgeous, at, like, for the entirety of it. I It just, yeah, no. This one's awesome. I'm so upset that it's it got like a oh it's gonna get an anime and hasn't had no movement. It's just crickets for years now because this one is one where I think they should give it the time and patience to make it a good anime because it is it is such a funny series. Yeah. Well, I think they probably haven't done much with it for the fact that there's only six volumes out or well seven volumes in Japan yeah. as of next month. So there's not a ton to I'm go off of? I'm sure they're trying to, like, I'm hopeful that given that there's going to be seven volumes next month, it's basically just the conversation of, all right, do you anticipate making more volumes of this or are you wrapping it up? Because they might just end up doing, like, you know, a 24-episode one and done situation. I mean, right. they can also go with like a Tomochan is and just a one season and done, not necessarily yeah. twenty four. Yeah, I mean, Tomochan was Jesus. It was eight volumes. Yeah, eight volumes, and they got one season. So, who, I mean, who knows? But I, I do want to see it animated at some point. I, I hope to God it doesn't just kind of rust, like just collect sure dust we'll and eventually. sit in the corner. But yeah. Speaking of collecting dust and sitting in a corner, uh, Mirai Arise. Unfortunately, I did a quick Google search, and looking at it, this project has been canceled. I know that this wow. this like anime has been sitting in the TVA page of Live Chart for forever now. Yeah, and it's been something that I looked at. I'm like, wow, this poster looks incredible. I don't know what this is, but this looks awesome. And I just realized it is canceled, so mm. we're just gonna skip it. Moving um, on. Moving on. I cannot wait. For the next row, Trigun Stampede Season 2. Um, if you haven't watched Season 1 and you were mad that there weren't characters that were supposed to be in the Season 1, um, here you go. Season 2. Your characters will be introduced. I promise you. Uh, <laughs> but Season 2, I'm very much so looking forward to this. They'll probably release this sometime, I would say, another year or two because they're releasing the last season of Beastars, uh, Studio Orange, that is. Uh, they're releasing the last season of B Stars sometime this year, so mm -hmm. I expect this to be a, a little, hmm, excuse me, a little further out. I'm not sure as to how long because you know it's all 3D animation and it it is gorgeous 3D animation, mind I say, or might yeah. I say. Um, but yeah, no, moving to the next row, um, Rick and Morty the anime. Please God, no. Do uh, we do we really need to talk about it? No. <laughs> I became friends with the second cutest girl in the class. I love the uh, emphasis on it that it's, she's not the cutest, she's the second cutest. So neat. Um, I don't know any of the others, so we'll move on. Yeah. No. The next row, hell yeah. Hell. Most, most of these are yeah. Most of these are continuation. 
Sabukui Bisco second season, baby. That, that we got an announcement for that. I feel like a while ago, and just it's been like, well, yeah, because cricket, cricket. part two is just about to end, if I'm not mistaken. Of, of, the, the, manga. of the manga, yeah, yeah, yeah. And part one co- was covered all by season one. Yeah. Um, yeah, the second part just ended not terribly long ago, so. Yep. Then we have Reborn Actually, as a vending October machine. 2022, so it's been a little bit, but Reborn anyhow. as a vending machine and then Ascendance of a Bookworm as well. Yeah. So. Yep. Um, after that, we have Nier Automata Core 2, which, God, that was a horrendous release to begin with. Yeah, they, they, ran, they ran into a lot the of production. Pretty, yeah. Yeah, they ran the into a lot was, of production issues. The show was pretty, but it was plagued by production issues. Oh, God. Um, but yeah, no, I know that you had talked about one before we uh, we started recording. So if you want to go over it in this row, go oh for God. it. Is it the I may be a guild receptionist, yeah. but I'll solo any boss to clock out on time. I yep. I just like the title. I like the it, there's like so much hate in it. It's just I may be a guild re- receptionist, but I'll fucking solo any boss to clock out on time. And then like I was hoping it would be like comma bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, this one seems it, it it seems like it could it could land you know it 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 has the potential but another one I was reading um be, just because the first sentence is hilarious to me is this Gigi harem which is mm-hmm. Ig Kitahama is an upperclassman who longs to have a harem like the ones he sees in the comics he reads. Jesus. All right. Oh God. Okay. Fair enough. And then it's like uh, this girl likes him, and then she's like, "Will he? Will she ever be able to? Uh, whatever." Yeah. the The next row, the only thing on here that I'm, at, I mean, there's Fate Straight. Like, there's a new, another. This is what the second or third Fate series we've seen on this list. I think second. Yeah. Yeah, but then you have the Rising of the Shield Hero season four. I actually just watched season three not too long ago, and season three for me, between story pacing and. Uh, character progression was my favorite season of the of the three so i'm looking forward to seeing what they do with season four i hope it's shield, the it's okay thing is the shield hero is running into this the same issues that i i have with attack on titan mind you i haven't watched shield hero but like based on everyone's responses like like many many people and how they've reacted to the first season, the second season, now the third season. It's like just like Attack on Titan, and that like, oh, first season, great. Second season, fucking garbo. Third season, all right, yeah, back to it. And so I'm like, well, pattern shows. Fourth season, don't get your fucking hopes up. Yeah, but we'll see. Fair um, enough. Um, the, n- yeah, nothing else in this row uh, yeah. I know of. But the next row we have Uzumaki, which is a. Uh, Lovely, lovely, lovely horror series done by um, God. I almost Junji said Ito. Satoshi Kon. Yeah, it's Junji Ito, but I almost said Satoshi Kon. Uh, Satoshi Kon has famously been <laughs> dead for over a decade. Oh my God! Uh, sorry, buddy. Um, but the other show that I recognize in this row is the next uh, iteration of Rascal Does Not which is right next to it, and I don't know what that translates to. So I don't either. Well, there's also the Campfire Cooking in Underworld um, Season 2, which is the first isekai that Mappa did. So That is true. I uh, Also I note, Uzumaki is going to premiere on Toonami before, in the U.S. before Japan. That which will be is interesting. interesting. Yeah. Hmm, fair enough. Uh, a lot of Above continuing that. now. Yeah, you have, you have Akira. I mean, which a, a re a new adaptation of Akira. I feel like this has been and in the like works for about... so freaking long. Yeah, this was yeah. announced back July of 2019. Ooh, well, so it might be in the same boat is... as like Astro Boy or something. Like they're just yeah. Just this has something. been one of those things that I doubt that it's being worked on, let alone anywhere near completion. Yeah. So, but my happy marriage season two, I know a lot of people love season one on Netflix. Um, have not watched it, but you have gun Gale online too, which honestly, I'm surprised that they're still doing. I feel like this was announced another a while ago, but there you go. Twitter as of three days ago, season two is going to premiere this year. Cool. Neat. I actually really enjoyed that's, gun Gale that's... online. I, I thought season one was fun. Let's see it. Uh, well, season two of Sword Art. Yeah, yeah. 
you know, the, the rest first of the, season. I should, we should note that the rest of these, because we're, oh, wait, we're no, towards the top. Side. Yeah, sorry. We're towards the top oh. of the list. We're going to get a lot to like, a lot of sequels now. So we're going to just, we're going to fly by. Don't, we're, it's not anything against them. We're just, we've already talked about most of these. So, yeah. for instance, uh, yeah, you got Made in Abyss sequel. Which isn't coming out anytime soon, but nope. I can't wait. Same with Jujutsu Kaisen Calling Game. Not coming out for a while. Dr. Stone, God knows when, but it'll Science be the final Spider, season yeah. of Dr. Stone. So that might, them, they might just like crank it out yeah. just to be like, you know what, let's get it done, let's finish it. And apparently a, a series that Frank thinks I'll enjoy, which is my friend's little sister has it in for me. Yeah. How depraved do you think I am, sir? Very. How depraved? Fine. Uh... <laughs> I followed uh, the 100 girlfriends who really, 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 really love you. Season all, two. All yeah. four of these shows I'm very excited for. The yeah. 100 Girls uh, Girlfriends season two. Suicide. I'm looking forward to the Suicide Squad Isekai. I, yeah. I think that it'll be better than a lot of people are giving it credit for. Uh, Don Machi season five, which is about uh, going to be about Siru, it looks like. Um, and then, yeah, and then we... Licorice Recoil, another... I don't know if it's going to be a second season, if it's going to be a new story or what. Just yeah, I don't know. They've been doing, I know, like, after the manga was released, they they were doing a lot, or sorry, excuse me, the anime was released. They did a lot with, like, creating a manga series and, like, light novels for it, too. So I'm wondering if they're going to then transition those into an anime or what. But that'll be cool. Yeah. Bleach. Oh, God, I'm so excited for Bleach. Bleach is going to be great. That'll come out sometime later this year. Yep. To Your Eternity Season 3. I know a lot of people love it. Have not watched any of it, but... Yep. Fairy... Might be in there somewhere. <laughs> Fairy, Fairy tale. tale. No thanks. No, no thanks. Uh, Detective is already dead. dead. Season no. 1 was awful. Bad. Naruto is getting four new episodes for its 20th anniversary, so that'll be interesting. Maybe I'll I... watch Naruto. Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, cheat skill in another world and became unrivaled in the real world too. I okay. It's just no an easy kind of one, yeah. Blue Lock yeah. season two. Blue Lock season two. That'll be good. That'll be good. Yep. Jinx We're just said saying it. the same thing. Uh, trapped in a dating sim. Season, uh, two. season one. Season one was better than it ever like it sh better than it ever should have been. It was still by no means like good or great, but it definitely wasn't a bad show. It was just like. It was fun. It was funny. It had its moments. Right. I enjoyed it. Right. That's just Fire the look Force of Eight. that's just the look of me. Oh, I know. You're Remem remembering this. No, I'm not disappointed. No, no, no. I'm just remembering uh -huh. it for when you fire something back at me later, and I'll just sure. be like. Trapped Fire in a Force season set. three. Very much so. Looking forward to it. Can't wait. Um, I don't know. Our I mean, I know State of. Or, yeah. Yeah, I know of these titles, but I don't eh. care enough. Too much about to talk about them especially Genshin not i've been Impact. killing slimes for 300 years and max my level good god i thought that was your favorite show of all time uh, love it um the genshin impact anime forgot that that was announced it's god knows when, god i knows could not care it's gonna get get to it with all the fate <laughs> series they've got going on well, fate and remember too weren't they like didn't they run into like really bad tax issues like two years ago like the ceo right like had was like tax fraud <laughs> something we reported it a while back oh was that the the olympics thing where they were no doing no no, no. you photo no. like the 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 ceo or some exact like committed ta tax evasion for you photo <laughs> yeah so you know they might still be kind of recovering from that but who knows it uh, looks like they're doing demon slayer witch on the holy night uh oh god they're doing some movie much. girls work which we skipped over and then the yep. Gen genshin impact yeah a uh, series yeah. that I know a lot of people are excited about. I haven't actually watched the first season, but I feel like I should. It's Saga of Tanya the Evil. It's it's of all the like this is a very very good isekai. Yeah, no, I I've only I've only ever heard really good things. So, but this one, yeah. What another note we should make too is that most of the series that we're now going over don't have like a 2024 release date. Some do, but most of the big ones don't. Which is, yeah, you know, I guess understandable. You get but, more um, hype. Yeah, season one of Sonya the uh, Saga of Tanya the Evil. We were, that was a very very early on Baka and Co review. Oh. So if you want to hear our thoughts about that, minus uh, magically averages here, go check out that episode. It, it exists out there. So yeah, uh, reincarnated as a sword season two. I'm looking forward to that. I really same one. It was a good good fun turn your brain off show. And then you have Hell's Paradise Season 2, which I'm excited for, and I know you're very much so excited for because that was Jeez. one of your favorite shows last year. It was really good. 
Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed the manga. I hope that season two really delivers the, the punches that it should. Mm -hmm. And then um, the next row, My Dress Up Darling, the sequel, I can't that, wait. I, I can't yeah, wait. I feel I, like this one's going to... I can't wait. I feel like this one's going to be a in due time patience is going to be key kind of one. I I honestly am not I'm not even anticipating getting a manga or a manga. I'm not anticipating getting another anime for it until maybe middle to end of 2025. There's enough real. material out for it. I know so. I know there is. I know there is. I just think that they're going to yeah, again spend take their time. They're going to make sure that I they're going to have the the final the the like how the series is going to end basically i i think that a lot of these big shows is about making sure that they're going to approach the like post season one in an appropriate manner right because you don't want to like uh, head into dress up season two and like have a bunch of material and get like the huge following again like oh yeah a bunch of hype can't wait for season three and then season three is like a, a abysmal because there's just not enough material because the author's like oh yeah I'm, I'm wrapping it up <laughs> right yeah he's like i think so, I, I feel like they're just taking their time being methodical and, and i can appreciate that but yeah which by the way cloverworks did season one they are not on like there's no studio on board for season two so we are probably still a decent ways yeah. out but looking at what cloverworks has coming up I mean, they just did the Rascal Does Not Dream of movies that came out last year, the Spy Family movie that came out. They have Black Butler next season. Um, they have Windbreaker next season. They have another mm -hmm. show called Trapezium, which we covered last episode. That one's getting huge amounts of traction online. Yes. Yes, so we I'm... covered that last uh, episode in our yeah. uh, movies discussion. That looks like a very good movie. Yep. Um, they're doing the Elusive Samurai, which we talked about earlier. Um, they're doing another series that's coming out in fall called Fureru. And then they're doing the Bochi the Rock uh, compilation movies. Which so they've got a lot on be. their plate, but yeah. they don't have a ton past fall. So we'll see. And by fall, I mean, they I, really I can... don't have a lot past this next season. They I only can... have yeah. a couple. I can see Dress Up Darling being a spring 2025. I can see it being a winter 2025. Wow, okay. So less than a year from now. They, because they have... Right now, they are working on two movies. They have two shows next season, and then after that, after next season and after those two movies, which one, two of them are in spring and then one is in May, mm -hmm. they have two shows. So theoretically, if those two shows come out on time, I could see them... Yeah pulling everybody after they air in fall 2024 because one says fall the other is just says 2024 so we're yeah. just going to go with fall 2024 i can see them pulling the entire staff to doing um season two for winter 2025 but yeah. i don't know yeah, maybe um after that we have afreda i don't know if that's how you actually pronounce it the commonplace to world's strongest season three i watched seasons one and two last year they were not good not yeah. gonna watch it um so yeah, ReZero season three. This is supposedly coming out in fall, twenty twenty four. Supposedly, it has no there, announcement, there are, no studio. <laughs> there are just leaks about it. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm looking Oof. forward to this. I just finished watching season two a few weeks ago. Oh, it's so good. It's, it's so, so good. good. Yeah. But yeah, um, Angel spoil next door spoils me rotten. Haven't watched season one. Misfit Demon Misfit King. Misfit Demon King Academy. Haven't watched it. Spirit Chronicles Season 2, and then Oshinoko Season 2. I am very excited Which, about this. 2024, so it is, it's going to be on high dive again. Yep. Um, yep and yep, then yep. the last one on the list, the one that tops them all, One Punch Man Season 3, which I feel like has been there for a while. <laughs> Ages. <laughs> yeah. But this actually, they have a... It says that there's no studio but i feel like a studio was announced for this not long ago right Am would it I not be crazy? the same one who did it no it's a, it's, a, it's a new that's another studio oh god <laughs> uh hold on because they change between up. seasons one and two as well right yeah so yeah. season one was done by give me a second yeah Why i can't, I can't remember madhouse season one was done by madhouse season Explains why two it was so good was done by JC Staff. Also good. I like the animation in both, honestly. Yep. 
And then season three. Drum roll. Uh, no studio attached. I thought it no. had a studio <laughs> attached, but I don't know I that studio. Was... Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is the last show on the TBD or TBA uh, live chart dot me list. There's a lot coming out, a lot coming out next year, a lot coming out in the future. And then there are some things that are also just canceled on here that need to be taken out back and put down like uh, Lenny and the Rabbits. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, thank you all for joining us this week. Uh, tell us what you guys are looking forward to the most. I know for me is Witch Hat uh, Atelier. So, and you, you're looking forward to Girls Do Not Play Fighting Games or whatever it was called. Yeah. Uh, tell us what you're you're very much looking forward to, or what your most anticipated show is that is still in the TBA. Don't know when it's coming out uh, section. But thank you all for joining us this week. We will be back next week with a brand new episode. If you want some shorter form content, go find us on TikTok at Bakako News and YouTube at Bakako Podcast. Until next time, Spark Triumph. We'll see you then.